Oh, hi guys, and welcome back for some more No More Hipsters 2 Desperate Struggle. My favorite. In this part, we're gonna see some astronauts. When you said the ASS part, I just seen Travis get off the toilet, and I did not think that you were gonna say that. No, we're not seeing ass this part, I don't think. Are you sure? Because I hear Sylvia. So, Sylvia has no ass either. <laughs> You're either gonna see that or titties, either one. <laughs> Look out the window! There's the window! Yeah, they taped it up. With a window! <laughs> Damn, dude. Fuck that trash can! <laughs> Whoa, damn, dude. <laughs> that was the rank 7 assassin. Is that gonna be your entire trash commentary, can? Ethan? <laughs> this is gonna be Ethan's best commentating part, he said so beforehand. Wait, Ethan's a commentator? Ah, uh, he tries to be. Ethan tries to be the best he can be, <laughs> like no one ever was. Whoa, damn, dude. <laughs> I didn't even do anything! Alright, so, uh, this is basically just my morning routine turned into a lot. Aw, oh, damn, dude. <laughs> we're just so taking the, you? we're just taking the freeway. There's no way to fail this, as far as oh I'm concerned. God. Do you have to hit the traffic cones? No, that bar in the bottom, you hold down the Z button to go faster. It's, it's a nice Wait, what? The, uh, bar in the bottom right. Yeah, what? Bar, you're in the bottom right. Yeah, I am in the right bottom. So the, uh... How else could you describe that? The meter in the bottom right. That's your boost bar. Damn. You that's my only joke. <laughs> yeah, you're not funny anymore. Fuck off, bar. Um... Ooh, damn, so that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my lord, let him talk. It, it's the boosty thingy. You press Z to boost. Uh, you refill it by hitting things. There's no way to fail. If you run out, you just go slow. Really, there's no way to fail this level. So there's no obstacles, no nothing. This is just basically you uh, driving. Uh huh. There's no there's no enemies. You can jump for some reason. This sort of reminds me of a level in a uh, Bayonetta, where you're doing well. It lasts significantly longer than that, but and it's harder. But, yeah. I don't even know why that exists, but the boss fight is pretty decent, aside from the fact that it can one hit KO. See, I told you we'd see one or the other. Was there any reason for her to grope herself? I don't really think so, but she did it. Ah, uh, damn, dude. <laughs> At least if it was relevant that time. <laughs> Ethan can say so many things with those two words. Something tells me he's just playing, like, auras right now, and he's not even looking at the screen. More driving. <laughs> More dry cleaning. More dry cleaning. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. I don't know, I feel more driving. Oh, I like dry cleaning better. That'll be a new level in No More Heroes 3. The dry cleaning minigame. Uh huh. It's Travis's new job. <laughs> so, is this a different variation of the last one, or the last driving thing? Uh, I guess. So there's just no way to fail this one either? Yep. There was just that straight line for some reason. Now we're at the boss. I don't... If I, anything, those are like glorified loading screens. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's something similar to that in the next level, too. <laughs> You've got to be... What the heck is that? It is a cosmonaut. Oh, so he's Russian. Whoa, damn, dude. Oh, wait. <laughs> How stereotypical. Wait, you're gonna... Oh, damn, dude. You're gonna fight the space program? Yep. fight a whole fucking space program now? Yeah? Oh. I... He said it too. <laughs> That's why I thought you'd watch this in advance. No, I have not. 
Uh, so I kind of, I'm, I'm sure, it's out, but I did die to him. He was almost dead, and uh, he does have an insta kill KO or insta kill move, so that's fine. Oh, damn, dude. Yeah, no. There seem to be a lot of bosses in this, in this game that have those. He also has the boulder geist attack where he just throws boulders at you, and hopefully none of them have coins. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. It's almost like this guy just flat out didn't have a level that led up to him. You're just taking a casual drive. Yeah, that's a thing in this game. Are there any other bosses that are like that? Uh, other than Mimsy, uh, I think that was her name, or Mimi. That, uh, anime girl we fought. Mm -hmm. Ryuji didn't even have a level leading up to him. Uh... We already fought, uh, what's her face? <laughs> oh, no, she had a level. I'll take it back. I was about to say, um... Oh, what was her name? The girl with the clarinet. I don't know. Damn, dude. I this game before. You know, oh, yeah, yeah I, remember, I remember. I remember that part. The girl with the clarinet. Yeah, I can't remember her name. She's a big fan of, uh, Travis. I can't Travis remember. Travis is great, yeah. I can't remember her name. She's not very... memorable. Well, she's memorable. Just... Her name's not. Well, I do feel like... Well, this is just me personally, but I think the bosses in the first game are more memorable than these. Yeah, and I think a lot of the bosses in this game are cooler, but like I remember a lot of the I can remember every single boss in their names from the first game. I, I just think they had more personality. Yeah, to some extent. Like one that comes to mind instantly is Bad Girl. Uh, oh, cool. Damn, dude. Man. The bad girl. Bad. bad girl was funny. How did she die again? I forgot. Uh, Travis stabbed her in the stomach. Yeah. And then she tried to beat the shit out of Travis with a baseball bat and died on top of him. It was still warm, mm -hmm. so it was okay. I don't know what I did. I don't know what you did, but damn, dude. <laughs> you can't take Ethan's commentary. I this don't was care. Damn, dude. This is commentary gold. He's on his A game right now. Your <laughs> thesis in order to get a a degree in college, and it's just gonna be damn dude. Just some is that what he's gonna teach all the kids in college? Huh? You can't wrestling move uh, Vladimir. Just side note. He looks well, really his easy. name is Vladimir. It's like he's Russian or something. Uh, he's not easy if if you didn't spend all your money getting a really super awesome sword. It just seems like all you keep doing is running around him and slashing him in the back. It's because you can't hit him in the front. If you do, it it uh, makes you vulnerable for a little bit. But if you keep using uh, the powerful slash attack like I do, which drains more battery and you do by shaking the Wii remote, you manage to hit <laughs> his back and break his front uh, shield, and after it won't respawn, so... Uh, well, since you were doing that, I was thinking that you couldn't, like, combo him or anything. Well, it doesn't look like you can anyway, because he just flies away. Oh yeah, when he starts charging up... Oh wait, no, never mind. I thought he was doing a different attack. Phew, damn, dude. <laughs> up there is his awful attack. This is the insta-kill one. If you get too close to that, you die. Ooh, damn, damn dude. Ass. Yeah, it's just a giant laser, and then Travis just looks up in the sky and falls over. <laughs> I died to that the first time by accident. Also, his lasers do an awful lot to take out your battery. So I guess like, they're gonna give you a break from the level just to deal with the boss itself, because I mean, it's fucking long. Well, this this uh, boss fight in particular doesn't really seem like it took that long. Yeah. Assuming he finishes it within the next three minutes. Well, yeah, I'm gonna finish it and then we're gonna see a cutscene. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it didn't really take as long as... Maybe some of the other ones. Oh <laughs> damn, dude. I mean, he could have been dead by now, but I keep accidentally getting hit by the laser and completely destroying my charge. Wait, what What rank is he? Second. So we're literally almost at the end of the game? Yeah, we have two more. Oh wait, is he rank second? I feel like he's rank second, but uh, that wouldn't make any sense. 
Well, we have like what five parts to go, so it doesn't really. We have uh, him. We have the next assassin, and then we have the uh, finale. Dead. Ooh, damn, dude. <laughs> if only we could see what this guy looks like. He has an NES D-pad on his chest. It reminds me of like the uh, Spaceman minigame from Donkey Kong 64. I'm really not sure why. Oh, damn, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Should that be the name of the episode? Probably will be. It's over, Captain. This... This is... Earth. Yeah. Welcome home. How is he floating? So, Anti-gravity. He's a spaceman. So he killed people in space? I have no idea how he's an assassin. <laughs> like, I never understood this. I thought it was a cool boss fight nonetheless, but... Glory to the Soviet Union. Wait, is he just f gonna fly out into space? <laughs> yeah, basically. Damn, dude. Well. What do we do now, Captain? You we damn dude. Third. Yep, guess he was ranked third. You said second. Just leave For some reason, I thought he was ranked second, the next person was ranked first, and then Jasper Bat Jr. was like King the Assassin or something. But it turns out Sylvia is actually first. Nah. And she turns Super Saiyan 3 and marries Anne Frank. So they just let his carcass fly around the earth. Mm -hmm. oh, damn, you can dude. speed that up? Yeah. If you hold down my A button. Why haven't you been doing this? Because I like the music. Oh yeah, that's true. Anyways, in the next part, walking. 